Well, my son came bursting through my door and was like, the house is full of smoke, Mom. It was that wake up that saved the family from the smoke and flames, quickly consuming the Kirkland home. It's one of the scariest things you will ever have to encounter. I'm thankful my daughter decided to sleep in the living room that night instead of her bedroom because she probably wouldn't be here with us today if she had been in her room. It was early Sunday morning, just after 5 o'clock. I watched the whole side of Addie's room just completely burst into flames and start spreading through the living room. We came running out of the house, down the sidewalk. And Jessica said it took nearly no time for help to arrive. And right as I turned this way, I saw the Bozeman PD officer flying down here. According to the Highlight Fire Department, there is no official cause of the blaze. And according to Jessica, they're pretty sure that it was the outlet in my daughter's room. That's where all the flames were coming out of when I opened up the door. And the thoughts that go through Jessica's mind now, looking at her home. Why me? <laughs> but just the fact that everybody made it out safe. And that we can, in the end, rebuild and put something back up. But the memories that are lost when this happens is probably one of the hardest things to deal with. The house where those precious memories were made is now lined in fire line, but you can still see some of the memories remaining. Even if something does burn down or whatnot, there always is something that will come out. There's already talk of a benefit concert donation jars around town. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can help, you can go to our website. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.